This is Richard from Modern Health Span. We've started releasing our interview with Professor Church, and in the next episode, he talks about pig to human transplantation using CRISPR gene editing. Before we release this episode, I want to quickly run through the paper his lab published to provide some background. First, a disclaimer that in this video, we are sharing a study that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. Here is the paper, Porcine Genome Engineering for Xenotransplantation. Here, xenotransplants are organ transplants between species, so in this case, using a pig organ for a human transplant. And this paper talks about the challenges and how to address them with genome engineering. There is an extreme shortage of human donor organs. For example, in the US, there are 114,000 people on the waitlist for organ transplants, and only 3 in 1,000 people die in a way that would enable their organs to be donated. Meanwhile, 20 people on the waitlist die every day. Xenotransplantation, which is using organs from other animals, could offer a good supply of organs and is a promising strategy. Domestic pigs are an ideal organ source as they have similar anatomy, physiology and organ size to humans. They also have a high reproductive capacity and a low maintenance. Multiple types of organs can be used, for example heart, liver, kidney and more. There are, however, several barriers which need to be overcome for the process to work. The first of these is the immune response. Through a number of different paths, the human immune system will see the transplanted organ as being foreign and attack it. These attacks need to be addressed in various ways to protect the transplanted organ. Also related to the immune response is systemic inflammation and the tendency of the blood to clot, causing thrombosis. This happens in the recipient's body because of the chemicals released from the organ. And finally, there are PERVs, or porcine endogenous retroviruses. These are retroviruses that live in pigs and for reasons of safety to rule out any cross-species contamination need to be removed. There were a large number of changes to the genome that were required to address all these issues. The team mostly used CRISPR, the most recent and powerful gene editing tool to make the edits. One of its key benefits is the ability to make multiple edits at a time. There are a number of strategies that can be used to address these challenges. For example, all pigs have a specific sugar on the outside of their cell, which is not present in humans and other primates. This causes an immediate immune response if it is present. To address this issue, they created pigs with the gene to make this sugar knocked out. Another option is to replace the gene in the pig with one that is compatible to humans. This is the approach that they used to solve the inflammation and coagulation issue. And the third one is to modify a gene in the pig to produce a compatible protein. This was used for the MHC, or the Major Histocompatibility Complex. For the PERVs, they modified the genome to remove all copies of the relevant genes and created PERV-free piglets. Once a genome has been created, the next question is how to create the pigs. There are various methods of in vitro fertilization possible using a genetically modified donor nucleus followed by implanting into a surrogate mother. Let's have a look at the current progress in preclinical trials that they are making with the various organs. Islets here refer to the islets of Langerhans which produce insulin in the pancreas. If these are not functioning correctly, this leads to diabetes. These have been transplanted into monkeys and the longest surviving one was for 965 days. For people with severe cardiac failure, the most effective treatment is heart transplantation. Pig hearts are now being considered as so few human hearts are available. These have been used in monkeys with survival up to 945 days. They are also making progress on kidneys with non-human primates with 435 day survival. Corneas are another area where there is a great shortage of donor where millions of people have defective corneas leading to blindness. Corneal grafts have worked up to 933 days in non-human primates. Skin is mostly required for people with burns or skin injuries and the structure of pig skin is quite close to that of humans. In baboons there was a survival of up to 53 days with a skin graft. The liver is quite problematic and there is not much progress and the lung appears to be even more challenging than the liver. Here is the conclusion. 
the new gene editing techniques, particularly CRISPR, have allowed the kind of editing required to build compatible organs. A variety of genetically modified pigs have been produced with modifications against immune rejection, inflammation, coagulative dysfunction, and PERV cross-species transmission. The preclinical applications of the organs from pigs is being carried out worldwide, with encouraging preclinical milestones being reached. They believe that xenotransplantation will become a routine clinical practice in the near future. I hope that you found the video informative. We will release our interview with Professor Church, where he talks about the latest from this research. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell button for any new video release notifications. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.